It's not over yet. Deep down in ourselves, we want happiness and goodness. Sometimes we don't take action because we don't know where to start or we doubt ourselves or are just not ready to dream big. In this three-part series, we have shared a total of eight simple but powerful actions you can take to dream big and then accelerate your progress towards your spiritual and worldly goals. Part 1 was about getting a great push off and part 2 was about making doing the right things sweet and enjoyable. In part 3 we will give you 3 simple but extremely powerful actions that will help you protect the good that you have already done, make the most of what is remaining and to remain focused until you meet Allah. Number 1. Protect what you already have. Imagine building a well-designed house with a lot of patience. If you are not careful to guard it, an enemy may break a key pillar and collapse the whole structure. Know that being arrogant and amazed by your actions, belittling others, showing off and considering yourself forgiven and guaranteed paradise can put you on a path for rapid downfall and destroy all or most of your good deeds. If you are facilitated to do good, be grateful to Allah for what He facilitated for you. Ask Allah for protection, forgiveness and acceptance of your deeds. Number 2. Ending is what really matters. Know that while a truly great beginning builds great momentum for an amazing ending, just because you had a great start, do not be overconfident that you will automatically have a great ending. On the other hand, if you did not have a great start, do not lose hope. Acknowledge your shortcomings in the past and be extra diligent for a great ending. Notice that some of the most special times come at the end of precious and blessed time periods, such as Laylatul Qadr, the day of Arafah and the last hour on Fridays. Let's focus on our present and make the most of every day. Number 3. Use it, don't lose it. What does a smart marathon runner do after the run? Does he lose it all? He may not be striving as hard as he was just before and during the marathon, but he keeps up the healthy practices and training to continue enjoying higher level of energy and strength even after the marathon. Once the special time for worship has passed, don't let your increased level of faith and sweetness significantly drop. Continue engaging in the newly developed habits such as consistent dua with certainty and presence of heart, regular or occasional voluntary fasting, and praying night prayers even after Ramadan. This will help you to consistently increase the love of Allah along with a balanced state of fear of His anger and hope in His mercy. Life is still a journey day after day and month after month. Maintain focus on your ultimate goal to attain the pleasure and love of Allah with final abode in highest level of paradise. May Allah facilitate goodness for us all. Ameen.